But I also want you, we're going to plug stuff into our fancy calculator, and then we're also going to graph things in decimal. Okay? So, is everybody ready? Does everybody have everything you need? Get your Chromebooks out. Make sure that you log into Desmos.com. Um, so let's do that first. So open a tab. I think I have a thing here, yeah. Desmos. And you're going to want to graph. Okay? So here is what I know about this equation. Remember that this is we can transform by saying y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So write this down on your little graph paper. We should be able to fit most of this on your graph paper. Okay. And also remember that the vertex, our vertex is h comma k. So when I look at this, because the formula has a minus sign here and I have a minus sign here, that lets me know that my H value is positive Q and then the K value, those, you know, whatever K is, K is. So that is a positive one. So let's plot that point on the graph. Remember that we're going to go, it's always X comma Y, so we're going to go over two up one. And so that is 2 comma 1, which is like our x comma y, and we get those values from h comma k, okay? You guys with me so far? Actually, I'm going to write that in a different color. Did somebody get that? Okay, so that's the vertex of this thing. So real quick, over to the side, not too big. Draw a little P chart like this, and we're going to say X and Y. So that means that when I plug in my X value of 2, my Y value should be 1. How do I know that for sure? Turn on your uh, fancy calculator. All right, so my equation that I wrote down was uh, negative 2. Here, let me, let me do this little thing here, and then I'll make it big again in a second. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Hide large display, high view. So I'm going to put my little calculator here, and I'm going to say negative 2 times the quantity, but instead of x, I'm going to plug in 2. So I'm going to say 2 minus 2, close the parentheses, square it, plus 1. See how I did that? And I can make that a little bigger if you guys want to be able to see it a little bit better. Can you guys see that in the back? Okay. Now when I hit enter, guess what? My Y value is 1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plot some other points. But here's what I want you to know. I want you to know that this is the vertex. So this is the vertex. And that we have a vertical line of symmetry at the vertex. So I'm going to make a little dash, and I want you guys to make a little dash line here. Maybe I'll do a different color so you can see it a little better. And you don't necessarily need a ruler or anything. You just kind of need to know that. And then I want you to write line of symmetry. Okay, 
So now what I want to do is, this is how you graph quadratics by hand. Okay. Let's pick an x value, let's say 1. So let's say we're going to let x equal 1. Now if I want to know what the y value is, what do I have to do? I just have to plug it in my calculator, right? So let's do it again, say negative 2, but for x I'm going to plug in 1 minus 2, because that's the rest of the formula, squared plus 1, like that, okay? And then I hit enter. Now what I really, if I'm going too fast, that's fine, but I really want you to practice putting this in your calculator. So if I'm going too fast and it's not enough time for you to plug it in the calculator, please let me know. But I definitely want you to pay attention, look at the screen, but also practice doing this on your own. Remember, we're trying to get this in your brain 27 times. So when I give you the test over this stuff in two weeks, you're like a pro. Right? So we got to start practicing now. Okay? we got to start practicing now. So that means that when I plug in x, my y value for this equation will come back as a negative 1. So I'm going to plot that point 1, comma, negative 1 down here. Uh, I wrote it backwards. So positive 1 for x, negative 1 for y. Okay? Now my line of symmetry, this, that means that if I'm one unit over here, then this should exist on, on there too. So that would mean, what point is that? Is that 3 comma negative 1? And so just to be clear, I'm recording this right now, but I should, when I stand up at the end of this problem, walk around and see everybody's graph paper with all this stuff written down. Okay, that's what I'm teaching you today. So make sure you're writing it all down. I want the table of values. I want the equation. I want the little information. Okay, vertex labels, all that stuff. Line of symmetry. So when I plug in 3, I should get a negative 1, I think. How can I double check that? Plug it in the calculator. So I'm going to say negative 2. My x value in this case is going to be 3 minus 2, that's the rest of the formula. Hey, it does equal negative 1. How about that? So now I want to point, I want to plot another point on the line. So let's pick out a value for x. What do you guys think? You want to do 5? Five might go off the graph, though. Let's try four. I want to stick real close to this one and real real close to this one. I It still might go off the graph. I'm not sure, but this, let's try four. So when I plug in four for x, I'm going to say negative two times the quantity four minus two squared plus one negative 7. So I'm going to go over 4 and down 7. This is another point on the graph. Now if that's two units away from the line of symmetry, there should be another point on the graph right here. That point is 0, comma, negative seven. So let's see, if I plug in zero, I'm thinking this is negative seven. Let's verify. I'm going to say negative two, zero minus, not seven, minus two squared plus one. Yep, it's negative seven. So that means that my graph The graph of my equation is going to go through these points like this. Let me make that a little thicker. And 
it kind of has a U shape like this. Oops. Now to double check that, let's plug that into Desmos and see if we're right. So the first thing I want you guys to do, let me, before I move on to the next screen, does everybody have this written down? I'll give you guys a second to write that down. Okay, have a graph, yes. Um, can you help me with my calculator? Sure. Oh, you broke it. There you go. You didn't break it. I'm just messing with you. Okay. So let's try to do the same thing in Desmos and see how good we are. So I'm going to go to Desmos. Now, here's what I want you to do. See this plus button? Is everybody in Desmos? I want you to hit this plus button and see where it says table. Select table. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plug in these numbers. Now, what was our vertex again? Remind me. 2 comma 1. So we'll say two, and then we'll put a one here. All right, and that's gonna that's gonna graph that point right there. And then the next thing we had was what was the next thing on our graph? I went too far down. There it is, right? So yeah, we had one, in other words, when we plugged in one here, we got a negative one. So we said one comma negative one. What was the next point that we had? Three comma negative one. What was the next point we had? Four negative seven. And the next point? Zero negative seven. Okay. So that's all from our, our math work. So let me just zoom out a little bit so we can look at this better. And so it's consistent with our other um, with our other graph. We go from negative 10 to 10, right, in the x direction, setting the window parameters. And then in the y direction, we go from negative 10 to 10, right? That's how our little graph paper that Mr. Adams photocopied for you guys is. All right, cool. So that's what we got. Does that look like, does that look right? So in Desmos, I want you guys to click on each one of the points. Um, okay. Now let's graph it and see what we got. So the original equation was y equals negative 2. Well, let me transform it first. Let's do this. Let's say y equals, and we'll start with x in parentheses. Now, to, to do the squaring, you got to hit shift 6. That's that caret button. And just do this. Okay? So I'll give you a second to plug that into the graphing calculator. Just, just do, or Desmos, do y equals x in parentheses and square it. Are you guys there yet? All right. So remember, the equation had a negative 2 here. What's that negative 2 going to do when I plug it in? What do you guys think is going to happen? Yeah, it's going to flip it over, and it's going to stretch it a little bit. So let's plug that in, negative 2. See how it did that? You guys plug that in as well. All right. And then in here, we had what What went in there? Minus, yeah. minus what? Two. Two. Now, what do you think that's going to do? 
Yeah, it's going to bring it to the right two units, right? See how it did that? If I don't have that there, it's here. But it, when I put it in, it shifts it over two units to the right. See that? And then on the outside, what did we have? What do you think plus one is going to do? Yeah, it's going to shift it up, right? So we'll say plus one. Does that look like ours? Yeah. Okay, cool. You guys ready to do